goodness, you guys. I'm just leaving Boulder Beach. Happy Easter. And it was a beautiful cold dip until somebody hit head on a tree right there. I I don't know how that fared out for them. It probably wasn't good. There was an ambulance and fire truck there. I had to wait a little, well, I didn't have to wait, but it was kind of a little thing. There was quite a few. It kind of just brings down the mood a little bit. I. I was like, I don't want to go see what that is because it doesn't look good. And so I was just trying to like, you know, wait till it all went, all the fire trucks left. And I was just hoping, you know, it wasn't that bad, but after passing by, it doesn't look like it was that good. So, you know, man, when you're having good days, all the more reason to be grateful because you just never know when you might hit a tree or your something. Oh shit, man. I'm praying for those people. I'm hoping, I hope they're okay. Hope it's not as bad as it looked say that look how beautiful those clouds are though it is a beautiful day on this easter and it was a oh my gosh those clouds are so beautiful and it was um it was a nice turnout for our easter cold dip that we had we had uh five people show up today so that's nice there's a lot of people probably really busy with their families and easter dinner and whatnot so pay attention here because there's a biker and boy it's busy gets busier on these beautiful days so you gotta be careful and pay attention oh man just definitely sending um prayers to that person who hit that tree head on because that looked terrible oh that's why i was in no hurry to see that because i was like oh i'm in such a good mood and i feel so great after that beautiful cold dip and i dunked too so i don't want to see anything bad or sad is what i said uh, well we're definitely sending them thoughts of happy prayers and happiness. Uh, I don't know what does one say. We don't know that they're dead. They may not be dead un or unalived. <laughs> oh, man. That's why I didn't want to even drive past it because I didn't want to see it and then think about it. But all the more reason to be grateful and thankful that today is that we're here on this day. You watching me dipping and um, yeah, whatnot. So hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. It's just a reminder that um, life can be hard and not good and it can be shitty but there is if there is a way to find something that makes you happy or someone or some place you know seek it because we don't know how we don't know how short or long life is I don't like to say that life is short because you don't know how long life it could be for you or how short it could be for you. So it's, and I definitely don't want to be putting any short life sentences in my mouth because I want to live a long life ish, a long life ish. Like I want to be, I want to see my kids as kids be born. I want to be a grandmother to my, my kids as kids. Like that is, that's a full bucket moment right there for me. I want to be able to have my kids bring their kids over to my house because they're like exhausted from their kids and work and whatever they do and they need they need grandma that's gonna be me i'm gonna be grandma taking care of my babies so say goodbye say goodbye to one of my other uh dippers dippers just passed them so yeah yay it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood feeling super grateful for life feeling super grateful for this day I like to say that all throughout my day that's why for me it's easy to project to other people I like to say to them that I love you uh, love you lady or whoever it is I like to express my love towards people because like for me for me now I know not everybody's this way because I have a buddy who's like I can't believe that you can just say love to people like that and I'm like eh. because I think that you can have layer there's layers of love like an onion and I'm an onion lover <laughs> duh um, yeah, totally. I love onions and garlic. Oh, yeah. I mean, my blood may be part Italian for all I know. I don't know. Uh, anyways. Yeah. I like to let people know that I have love for them. Now, it may not be to the same level of love I have for my family or my kids. But, you know, I definitely have a love for them. So, for me, I have no problems expressing that. And I like people to know that I have care for them, that they are in my eyes a winner, 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 chicken dinner. If you are somebody that I have care for, I definitely probably love you, have love for you in some capacity. Like I don't want anything bad to happen to you. That's for sure. It would really, really be upsetting to me, especially if I love and care about you. So 
and look just back there like I don't know who that person was in that car accident and I have care for them because that's awful for the people who love that person like that's not on Easter like who wants that come on Easter Easter may not be particularly that special of a holiday to you or to others I don't know um, but for me it just symbolizes getting together with my family um, sharing good times and good food and if you're like me the way to my heart is through my stomach I love to eat that's why I have to run and um, go shiver off some calories in the river you know gotta be proactive with these things I am an American woman so I do love me some juicy juice juiciness some thickness so take that however you want but I'm not um, you know it's your personality that wins through like for me I'm I'm more attracted to a person's personality than the way that they look like it's great that you could have all these whatever bits and bobs that look great but it's really your your personality and your soul that speaks to me that's what I'm more attracted to I mean I think it's um it's nice if you're attractive don't get me wrong I'm not saying that but I'm just saying like you know it's the person's insides <laughs> that sounded really weird I don't know if that makes any sense but for me I just find a person's personality is more attractive than the way the person looks you know I don't know but then you can to me it's maybe to me it's secondary the way the person looks we'll just say that yeah, yeah. I mean um I'm not I'm not I'm actually let me just tell you I'm the type of weirdo who's not looking at people and judging them I have no idea why I think actually I do know why there was this one particular instance for me that I experienced when I was younger I had an allergic reaction to poison oak I am I was when I was a kid very allergic to poison oak and my face swelled up and look at my nails Easter nails my face swelled up and I did not I was unrecognizable and um, I had all these blisters oozing it was like it was it was horrifying. It was a nightmare. It was like, I looked like my face had been melted off. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty bad to me. I was a young girl and, um, people were staring at me and I never forgot the way that that felt that I was jacked up that people could not look away from like, they just, they couldn't, couldn't stop themselves from looking at how horrified I looked. It was a very valuable um, lesson for me in my life because it taught me that I know how that feels. So, like, if I pass a car accident, I'm not sitting there staring and gawking because what if that was your family? Wouldn't you want people to have respect for them? I would hope so. You know, and it doesn't seem very respectful to me. It does make me a little heated. Um, it doesn't seem very respectful to me that you're stopping and gawking at somebody's situation. Like, that could be your family. What if it was, you know? So, that's my personal, humble, subjective opinion on that. And um, as far as people's looks go, too, like, um, it's just not... I mean, I guess if you look like, I'm trying to think of somebody who looks really, but then I don't want to say that. Like, I don't, at the end of the day, I don't really care what you look like. Like, I don't really see why that's important. It's basically how you act and how you conduct yourself is more. And then, and then I'll take a look at you. And then maybe I might look at you after that. Cause I need to know which, what you're working with on the inside first before I'm probably going to give you the time of day in that way. Like, I don't care what you look like. I only care how you are. If you treat people well, like if you go to a restaurant and you're rude to your, the, your, the people who bring the food to you, mm -hmm, no, you didn't cut a rug in my life. You got to go. Mm -hmm. You got to treat people well, man. You have to treat people the way you want to be treated until they give you a reason not to. And even then maybe have some, uh, understanding. I don't know. Some people have shit days. You know, I, I think to myself sometimes, I hope that person wasn't thinking that look was meant for them. It was just my salty thought in my head had nothing to do with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the other day, I think I was running and this guy looked really pissed off and I gave him a smile and his face was just like, Rrr. and I was like, oh, I know that look, I've been there, done that. And I didn't take it onto myself. It wasn't like I thought that guy thought anything hateful or nasty towards me, even if he did, I didn't take it. You know, that's fine. You know, and not everybody's going to like you. You don't like everybody. Come on. Why are you letting yourself get your feelings hurt over stuff like that? Who cares? I don't care. I try not to care. Let me just let me just say that. Sometimes my feelings do get hurt. I mean, I am only human. And I, you know, I do my best. My brother and my sister probably wouldn't agree with this. Um, they probably think I'm a dick, and that's fine, because I can be. And some other people probably think that, too, and that's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm always working on myself. I don't intentionally try to hurt people's feelings. That's never my goal. I don't like to hurt people's feelings. It hurts my feelings to hurt people's feelings. But if they, if they brought that out in me, they brought that on themselves because it does take a lot for me to throw that back at somebody. But I'm also like the type of person, if you tap my balls, I'm going to tap yours right back. Yeah. I mean, I literally don't have balls. I'm just saying figuratively. Okay. I just want to make that. I don't know what people are doing these days with your bits and bobs. So I just want to say that. 
it's your business, not mine. I don't know why everybody needs to know everybody's business in that way anymore. It's like, I didn't, I was just trying to ask you about the weather. I was just trying to say, it's beautiful out. And then you got to tell me that you did all that. Keep that to yourself, friend. We don't know each other like that. Like, I don't need to know what you're doing with your stuff. Keep that to yourself. I don't know why everybody thinks everybody needs to know. Not everybody wants to know. I mean, if we're homies like that, then, you know, sure, bring it up. But otherwise, like, I don't need to know what you do with your bits. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you probably do want to know what I do with my bits, but you don't need to know. That's none of your business. Okay. Well, that was fun. Yay. Beautiful cold dip on this beautiful day. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. You know, when you have these, these long ass nails on it, it makes doing things a little more difficult and interesting. We'll just say that. They're not that long. They're see, they're not that long. Still, I can claw your face off. <laughs> I mean, don't make me claw your face off, then. Okay, gosh, I'm nice. I'm all love and light until you bring out the darkness in me that I will foster, because you should have some comfort level with your darkness, so that when you do need to wield it, you know what what you're working with. Yeah. Anyways, love to you on this beautiful day, this beautiful Easter day, wishing you a wonderful day wherever you are. I know some of us are hanging out with the family and stuff. It can be a little stressful. So just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in that fresh ass air, go outside for a walk, do whatever it is that you need to do to bring it back, bring it back and eat a deviled egg. Don't be devilish, but eat a deviled egg to the next adventure. Peace out. Yo, love you. Bye.